In this video, we're going to show you how to create gallery pages and also how to create the uh, two different jQuery homepages. Um, so the way that the gallery pages work is they pull in posts from a specific category and then depending on the page template that you, they, that you choose, um, it'll display the content into that template. Um, so the first step is to make sure that you have a post category. Um, so you just click on posts and categories. Um, and then you just add the the new name of your of your category, and then you just click Add New Category. Um, and now uh, now you just want to start creating posts that you plan on displaying on the gallery page. Um, so to add a new gallery post, um, it's just like a regular post. Um, under here, you just under Posts, you click Add New, um, <clears throat> and then you give it you give your your post a title. Um, the description, you, you can leave it blank if you want, or if you want to write a small little description underneath, you can. Um, so it's up to you. We'll just put a, we'll just put some, a little bit of text in there. Um, <clears throat> and now, um, if you scroll down a little bit under um, this custom settings, this is where you enter the full, the full size URL. Um, so basically, when the user clicks on one of the gallery thumbnails, um, whatever you type in here, this is what will be displayed. Um, so this can either be an image, a YouTube video, a flash video, Vimeo video, or an iframe. And uh, we give you um, samples right here, so you can kind of use these as a, as a guide. Uh, so for this one, we're just gonna, we'll just do a basic image. Um, so we're going to want to just grab the URL of the image. So right over here, we just click Upload Insert. And you can either upload a new image, or if you already have one in your library, um, so we're just going to choose show and then if we scroll down and we choose file URL and click that this will give us the um, the, the full URL to the file that we're trying to use um, so we're just going to copy this and close the window and then we're just going to want to paste paste in that URL right in there um, and now in terms of the thumbnail itself which the user sees right on the directly on the page um, that's set over here in the featured image uh, so you just click set featured image and choose your image and then just click use as featured image and again just close the window um, and then you just want to make sure you, you put it in the proper category um, so whichever category you plan on um, using uh, you just make sure it's in that proper category and then you hit publish um, and you would just go through and, and do that uh, for each one of your items, um, the same process. You just create the new post, give it the full URL, uh, specify your thumbnail image, uh, make sure it's in the proper category, and then just update the post. Um, so we already have a few others created. Um, so um, now the next step is to create your gallery page. Um, so we're going to use this page. It's just, it's just called gallery on our demo site, so we'll use that. Um, now pretty much the only step on here is just uh, first you just want to make sure that you're using a portfolio page template um, so there's a few different options to choose from so um, just make sure you're choosing one of the portfolio templates um, and then you just have to tell the page which category to pull from um, so down here you'll see that we have this uh, custom portfolio category box um, and you just choose the, the category from the drop down and uh, once you have that, you just click Update. And uh, if we come over here and go to our gallery page and refresh, and uh, you'll see, like right now, it's only displaying five items, um, and that's because that's what our our WordPress settings are set to. Um, so you can you can override that if you want. So you can specify how many items you want to display on that page. Um, so same thing when you're when you're on the page editing screen. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see right here we have this portfolio count. It's just a custom text field, um, so you can enter however many items that you want, to, however many items you want to be displayed on this page. Uh, we'll just put ten in there, even though we don't have ten, and we'll just update. And if we refresh, then it'll show our new item that we just added. Um, and then if we click on the thumbnail, you'll see that we have the full size image that we specified. Um, so it's you know it's very straightforward, you know. And in terms of uh, changing the layout, it's just a matter of uh, picking a different portfolio template. So if we choose three columns, and update, 
and refresh, see that we have now have a three column layout. <clears throat> um, so you know it's very it's very straightforward. It's really user friendly. Um, you know and we we hope you find it useful. Um, all right. So the next step <clears throat> we're gonna think next thing we're gonna cover is setting up the jQuery home pages. So this one's already set up, but we'll just uh, we'll reset it up. Um, <clears throat> So uh, the first thing is you want to decide which which template you're using. Um, so in this case, we're going to do jQuery 2. Um, and you just want to make sure you have to just turn on the template within the custom options panel. Um, so if you click on appearance and site options, and then you click on home page settings, um, <clears throat> right here, these first two boxes, it's the jQuery home page template and the jQuery 2 home page template. Um, so whichever one you're going to be using, you just want to check that box. Um, and we'll, we'll come back to this, but we're going to save the changes for now. Um, and the, uh, the jQuery homepage works similar to the gallery page, where it pulls in posts into the jQuery slider. Um, so you just have to tell it which category to pull in from. Um, so again, we're going to click on uh, posts and categories. And we're just going to add a new category. Okay, and then this is the category that we're going to use to pull in posts for the jQuery slide. Um, okay, now we're just going to go ahead and add a new post. And just we'll just give it a title. I'm just going to grab some text from here. Um, <clears throat> so you just give it a title. Uh, you just give it some text over here. Um, and then again, the thumbnail um, is generated by the featured image. So you just have to set a uh, featured image. So uh, just click set featured image um, and then choose your image that you want to use and use as featured image. Close the window. Um, <clears throat> and now you just want to make sure that you have the, um, uh, the proper category selected. So whichever category you plan on using for your jQuery slider. Just make sure you have it selected and publish. And we're going to add a, uh, we'll add one more post. So again, same thing, just uh, type in your title. I'll grab some more text. Type in your, uh, your text and uh, choose your category. So just make sure it's the proper category. And then add your thumbnail image and use this featured image. And publish. Okay, and now we just have to set, specify within the options panel which category to pull from. Uh, so if we click on appearance and site options and home page settings. Now, um, right here it says uh, jQuery home page post category. So we just want to select the category that we want to pull from. Uh, so ours is right here. And then save the changes. And we'll come back and refresh. And it looks pretty similar, but uh, you'll see that it is uh, indeed the different text and the, the new posts that we pulled in. Um, so, you know, it's very straightforward. You would just kind of go through and, you know, just, just add new posts, and they would get automatically generated within this uh, slider area. Um, so now I'm going to cover how to do a full width image using the jQuery 2. Um, so it's a very similar process. Everything else is the same. Um, the only difference is when you're when you're adding your post. So you just add your post, and uh, you just give it a title, and you just want to make sure you leave the content area blank. So then the slider knows that it's going to be a full width image. So just don't put anything in the content area. Um, same thing. Just choose your category, um, and then for your featured image, you're just going to want to choose your full size uh, image. So you know whatever image that that uh, you plan on using. Um, you know, just the same way that you were setting up the other slides. Um, and that's it. And then if you publish, and we'll come back and refresh, and you'll see that it, it puts it automatically in a, uh, in a full width frame. Um, so, you know, this image, it looks a little bit stretched um, because it's not really a landscape type image. So you just want to make sure that the images that you're using for the jQuery full width, you know, make sure they're more of a landscape um, rather than a portrait um, so that way you know it looks the images look nice um, just a few other settings for the jQuery homepage uh, we come back over here to site options and go to homepage settings 
Um, there's a few different settings we can choose. So uh, this right here says to check this box if we want to pause when people hover over it. Um, so if we check that, um, basically, um, when you hover, when you're hovering over the slide, if we have this option set to true, then uh, it'll it'll stay paused. It won't switch to the next slide. Um, and then you can also change this the the time in between slides. Um, and this time is in milliseconds. So right now it says 8,000. So that would be eight seconds. So each slide would stay on for eight seconds before it moved. Um, so I'm going to save the changes. And uh, if I refresh. You'll notice that if I stay, if my mouse stays hovered over the slider, um, then it, it it won't change unless I move my uh, unless I move the mouse. So that's what the pause setting does for you. Um, okay, so now that's pretty much done, and now we're going to go to uh, the regular jQuery one homepage. Um, it's pretty much the exact same process. It's just a different page template. Um, so we're going to deactivate the jQuery 2 template, and then we're going to activate the jQuery 1 template. And we're going to save the changes. Um, and now we're going to click on Pages. And we're going to edit our home page. And for the page template, we just want to choose, instead of jQuery 2, we're just going to choose jQuery and Update. Um, and that's pretty much it, but I just have to edit the one post that we did the full width version because when you do full width on the jQuery one template, it's a little bit different. Um, so if I edit this post, um, instead of setting a featured image, so we're going to remove this. So when you're using the jQuery one template and you want to use a full width image, um, you just give it a title and then you just want to make sure the featured image is blank and then you're going to just insert the image just as you normally would insert a regular image um, right in here in the content area so I'm just going to choose this upload button and I'm going to select just a, a basic image that I threw together real quick um, and just open alright and then just choose uh, insert into post and then if I click update and we'll come back here and refresh and you'll see that it uses this uh, this image so it's just a small little image that I put in there but if you were to put pick the full uh, make a full width image um, then you'd be all good to go um, so you'll see it's a very similar process um, so again just a matter of making sure that you activate the template that you're going to be using uh, within the home page settings make sure you choose the proper category that you're going to pull from um, and that's it. Then you just create your posts and uh, you're all good to go. So uh, I hope this was helpful and please stay tuned.